game week's finally here. I think our guys are excited. Uh, it's been a long fall camp. Uh, been a really good fall camp, but uh, I know we've been counting down the, the days to get to the opener. Um, I think our guys had a really good work ethic uh, at practice, really good focus uh, this past month, and uh, really excited about getting the opportunity to go out there and compete against Auburn. It'll be a great challenge uh, on the road uh, at their place. Uh, it'll be a hostile environment, and um, we're going to have to play well uh, to win the game. Our guys know that. Um, they've got a great coaching staff. We have a lot of respect uh, for them over there. We've visited with them uh, years in the past and uh, know their coaches well. Uh, they've got a very talented roster. They've recruited extremely well uh, over the last four or five years. Uh, we've gone head to head on several uh, guys that are on their roster. So we, we, we know they're um, uh, very talented. Uh, defensively, I think it'll be one of, the, one of the top defensive fronts that we play all year. Um, starting off with Carl Lawson, I think he's a, a premier defensive end. I know he's been injured and uh, is back full speed healthy. Uh, he'll be one of, the, one of the top DNs that we play against all year. And then Montrevious Adams in the middle is another guy that we recruited uh, very heavily and uh, very disruptive uh, inside. And uh, so we got to have a plan for them. And uh, they do have a few returners um, on the back end. Uh, Rudy Ford, I believe, was their leading tackler uh, last year who played safety in Nickel Sam. And, um, and then their, their returning DB, um, Carlton uh, Davis, I believe he wore 18 last year, wearing six this year. Uh, he led the team with three interceptions uh, last year as a freshman. And uh, so uh, we're looking forward to the challenge and uh, ready to get started with the season. With that, I'll open up with questions. Yeah, well, I think uh, the noise, um, number one, uh, I can remember n none of these guys were on our team the last time we went down and played at Auburn, but it was very loud. And, um, you know, you're always worried about the uh, pre-snap uh, procedure, uh, communication, all those type of things in the very first game of the year. That's something that, as coaches, you're always concerned with. But then when you're on the road in a hostile environment I think it just magnifies that even more so that's something that we've been really uh, working hard on here uh, during fall camp and uh, we'll have plenty of noise out there uh, this week uh, while our offense is uh, practicing getting ready for that. You mentioned a lot of guys played in a different defensive system last year now that they're familiar with I mean, preparation because things have changed and then how much do you try to remember some of the coaches you'll have to see? Yeah it's uh it definitely adds a, a challenge um, to the opener uh, when the coordinator is, is coming in um, for the first time. Um, you know, we have to, we've watched a lot of video. Obviously, you have to study a lot of LSU video um, for what he did there last year. And then uh, also watch some Auburn uh, video just to kind of study the personnel. Uh, but really, you know, re regardless with the new coordinator coming in or not, uh, first game, especially that first quarter, first half, there's a lot of kind of filling out each other because everybody's had a year to maybe add a few new wrinkles uh, to what they did in the past. Um, so I think it, it won't be anything um, out of the ordinary for a first game in that respect. Um, but we definitely spent a lot of time watching a lot of video and uh, got a lot of respect uh, for Coach Steele. Uh, he, did a, he did a really good job last year at LSU. I believe they were number 25 in total defense and uh, finished 17th in rushing defense which is uh, very impressive uh, in that league. So uh, we know we'll definitely uh, have a challenge, and uh, I think our guys are looking forward to it. Is that challenge of having to prepare for a new defensive coordinator eased when it is somebody you've worked with and you kind of know what you might like to do? You know, I, I don't think there's a, a huge advantage to that, working with them in the past. I mean, that was, you know, many years ago. Uh, it really, in, in football years, it was a long time ago. And, uh, and, and coaches change. You know, we're different offensively now than we were, you know, four or five years ago uh, when Coach Steele was here. And, and uh, he's changed some things defensively from where he was. So um, I think probably too much is made of that as far as the familiarity and any advantage that that gives. Um, you know, I think it's very little. Uh, really, we got to go off what we see on video and, um, you know, what we saw. 
um, in their package at LSU last year. You got to prepare for that. And then also, um, you know, what you expect them to do uh, game one as the first game in this, in this uh, system. Well, you know, Mickey really works with the defensive side, and uh, so we don't have a lot of uh, – Mickey doesn't work a lot with our offensive guys. Uh, but, but he, you know, guys like Mickey and then also Kyle Richardson who works with us, I mean, those guys are very valuable. Um, you know, they've been very successful high school coaches uh, running programs for a long time and uh, have a lot of football knowledge. And I think it's good sometimes as college coaches, you know, I look at myself as one of the coaches that was a high school coach and kind of moved – uh, into college, but as college coaches, we get a little tunnel vision on on how we do things, and it's good to get a little bit of um, you know fresh air coming in, somebody with new perspective and uh, maybe some new thoughts and ideas, and and uh, and a few things that we're doing because um, it's applicable applicable to us. I mean, high school and college and NFL, we're doing a lot of the same things, and uh, those guys have definitely uh, made a difference for us since they've been here uh, this spring. Yeah, it, it is. It's probably uh, you know one of the biggest things that um, you know you're concerned with going into it. Um, we do have a lot of guys guys that have played and been in those type of environments and those type of games, but we also are going to have some guys out there that uh, have not had a lot of experience with that. It's going to be their first time, and and so you know really it goes all back to what Coach Sweeney talks to our players about all the time that. Hey, it's about Clemson. It's about our preparation. It's about our focus. And if we can go out and execute uh, our game plan, you know, then we're going to have a chance to have success. And uh, yes, the external factors, uh, you have to know what they are, be prepared for them, but you can't let that be your focus. You really have to get locked in and focused on doing your job, you know, no matter where you're playing, what the environment is, how loud it is, if it's raining, sunshine, day, night. You know, we have to eliminate uh, the external factors, um, you know, having a direct impact uh, on our production. And uh, it's easier said than done, but it's something that, you know, I think our guys believe in, and, and that's why you practice every day. And that's why we'll, we've put them in some tough situations already throughout fall camp, and we'll continue to put them in some tough situations as we uh, finish up our game prep this week. Yeah, I think that's um, you know one of the many uh, positive traits that Deshaun has is is his demeanor. It's the same every day. Uh, he never gets rattled. He never gets too high with the highs. Never gets too low with the lows. And I think he has a a quiet confidence when he steps in that huddle. Um, you know, it's contagious to all of the players. And so um, I think there definitely is is that feeling um, that you know we've got guys that have been in these type of battles before in the past and. Uh, there's some uh, positive things you can bring from that, but at the same time, it's a new day, it's a new year, it's a new game, and now we have to go out and, and uh, execute. And so that's really where all of our guys' focus are. But there's no doubt uh, it's definitely an advantage to have a, a veteran quarterback uh, like Deshaun. Yeah, uh, I think we're impressed, but not surprised, because that's just kind of how who Deshaun's been since the day he got here. Um, but there's no question about it. I mean, the way he carries himself. I mean, what he does academically, graduating in three years, five hours away from graduating in two and a half years. Uh, you know, for any student, that would be incredible. You know, and then you add on all of the requirements he has on the football side, and then off the field with all of his requirements. I think it's. It's uh, really, really special. But, you know, that's at the same time, that's what those elite players, um, elite quarterbacks, those, that's what they look like. That's how their demeanor is, and, and they never change. And so it is very impressive. Uh, but the more you're around Deshaun, uh, it's not very surprising at all because uh, that's who he is, who he's been, and, and who he will be. Training 
Yeah, uh, I'd say it's different than last year. I think last year, obviously, coming off the injury, um, I don't think there were a lot of questions or concerns on our part, but you know, it was just part of having to get out there for the first time and go through that. Um, but I mean, obviously, that has, has not even crossed our mind getting ready for this um, preseason camp or, or this game. Um, you know, I do feel overall, um, really, I feel our entire team, but especially our offense is more mature, uh, more focused uh, than any time that I can remember in the past. Now, you know, how that translates over to Saturday night, we'll see. Uh, but there's definitely a different uh, feeling among the guys and the, the, um, in the meeting rooms on the practice field. You know, just like we had our Beanie Bowl uh, Friday night, um, you, you could tell a difference from the past, just the focus uh, that these guys have had. So hopefully that will continue and uh, translate into success on Saturday. The bad news is we can only play three or four at a time. So I wish we could play more more than that. But, um, you know, I think, you know, in their league uh, that they play in, they see a lot of talented, skilled guys, I mean, up and down their schedule. Um, so, you know, it's obviously it's a, it's a benefit for us to be able to have. I mean, I, I feel like we've got six guys, the wide receiver position, that are all starters that really uh, have the ability and have worked hard enough to be considered a starter. So those guys will roll. They'll play a lot. Um, you know, I think it's good to have some depth because you're going to have injuries. Injuries are a part of the game. So there's going to be guys that go down from time to time. And uh, so being able to play a lot of guys, I think, lessens the blow a little bit uh, when there is an injury. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's also the big thing as coaches, you know, there, there's a difference between, you know, potential and performance. And this is a new year. You know, I don't have one guy in that room that's caught a touchdown pass in 2016. And so it's time to start over. And uh, I think all those accolades and all that is, is good for a certain time, um, you know, because those guys kind of earned a little bit of respect. But now it's time to actually go out and earn it on the field uh, where it matters. And so, you know, we've been challenging those guys that, hey, when they get opportunities, they need to make those plays. And uh, so I'm excited about uh, watching that group uh, play Saturday night. Yeah, um, you know, I, I think they've done well. Um, you know, we're a little bit more probably veteran group offensively than we've been in the past. Uh, I think pretty much every other year leading up until this year, you know, we've had a, a need for um, some of those freshmen to come in and, and be major contributors right away. I think um, this is one of the first years that we've been in a situation where uh, we can kind of bring them along a little slower um, than in the past. Um, but, you know, those guys have done well. Um, you know, training camp is hard for everybody, but especially those freshmen. And uh, I've seen good progress from those guys. And, and um, you know, hopefully they'll have an opportunity to play, you know, and how much it is this first game. Who knows? We'll have to kind of see how the game goes and, and how everyone's doing. But uh, I think we're committed to giving those guys an opportunity to play this season. Um, so it'll be fun to watch them. Yeah, I think we have, um, you know, and that's kind of typical for going through uh, training camp, um, really when those installs get heavy. I mean, our our uh, offensive package is is cut back this week when you get ready for a game. When you're going in, in fall camp, you're putting out pretty much everything that you want to get to throughout the entire season. And now as we kind of hone in on, on what's going to, uh, what we want to take against um, Auburn and their defensive scheme, I think when it cuts back, it's a lot easier sometimes for those freshmen to be able to get dialed back in and play a little bit faster. And so, yes, we have seen uh, improvement uh, in Taven, and I think he's going to be a great player for us in the future. Yeah, I, I don't know on that. Um, you know, yeah, I, I, I'll let that uh, go for, for Coach Sweeney to kind of figure out. He, he definitely is a factor in that. He's a guy that's been uh, getting reps as a kickoff return guy. and. And uh, how soon we put him back there and all that will be Coach Sweeney's decision 
along with the rest of the staff. Yeah, um, you know, it's something that we'll talk about, and uh, you know, we kind of have a way that we do it on the sidelines. Uh, we practice uh, that way. We practice uh, with a rotation that if you know, if we have a guy that goes downfield on a deep ball and you know it's not complete, he'll come off the side, and the next guy's ready to go right in. And so it's not something you just wait until game day to start working on that rotation. It's something that uh, you know we do throughout practice. But you know, I've got confidence all, all six of those guys and. You know, the get out there and the, the success uh, that they have will kind of determine how the rest of the rotation goes the rest of the game. Sometimes you get a guy with a hot hand and you don't want to take him off the field. You leave him out there a little bit. Um, but um, it's definitely uh, one of the deepest uh, groups that we've had in the past. So that's definitely a benefit. Yeah, I think so, and I think it's hard uh, sometimes as a coach to know exactly where you are in the developmental stages of your offense when you're going against your defense every day. You know, the same defense that you went through the entire spring practice. Obviously, you know, they can pick up on some of our tendencies. We pick up on some of their tendencies, and uh, you kind of get called into playing each other. And uh, you really never know until you get out there in that first game um, exactly where you are. And uh, it's, the first game is always a great uh, measuring stick for kind of where you are as the beginning of the season. And uh, I think our players and coaches are definitely excited about getting out there and uh, going against somebody else. Is there anything specific you've seen from Trevion during camp that makes you feel like you're going to start getting some um, consistent productivity? Yeah. Well, uh, number one is his consistency overall, being where he's supposed to be, catching the ball. He's done really well. And uh, I think he's gotten quicker and a little bit faster uh, from last season. And um, I know our guys, you know, have worked really hard in the summer. But he's one guy that that I can notice watching on video that has gotten uh, notice noticeably quicker and faster uh, from last year. So I'm really uh, proud of the way that he's worked, how hard he's worked. Uh, but overall, just his consistent um, execution of what we're asking him to do uh, each down has uh, probably been the biggest thing that stands out and allows us uh, that trust that we have in him. Well, I definitely think there's uh, less room for error when you're playing a talented team like uh, Auburn on the road. I mean, there's no question about it. There's been a lot of Clemson teams go down to Auburn and, and leave with a loss, and uh, not many of them gone down there and got a win. So I think our guys know exactly what they're stepping into. Uh, there's not going to be any surprise or anything like that. Um, I, our, our players and coaches have a lot of respect. Uh, you know, for Auburn, and, and we know we're going to have to play well to win the game. Uh, we, we're not going to be able to, to go out and have a bunch of mistakes and not play well and come out with a win. We're definitely going to have to play well uh, to be able to win the game Saturday night. Who is week one easier on preparation? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's a good question. You probably have to ask Brent on that. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, the biggest thing. Uh, Getting ready for week one, you spend a lot of time in fall camp worried about yourself. Um, you know, we, I mean, really, we, you don't get too concerned about your opponent until about two weeks out. And so, really, you're just trying to figure out how the chemistry of that offense is going to come together. What are you good at? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? You're really focused on yourself more than anything else. And uh, then it's refreshing after doing that for, for three or four weeks to finally kind of start looking at an opponent and start game planning and doing those type of things. Um, but, you know, I think it's probably it's difficult for both sides. I mean, you've had a lot of time, you know, of the off season, spring ball, summer. You know, they're going to have some wrinkles on both sides of the ball, offense and defense. I'm sure we'll have a few wrinkles on both sides of the ball. And you have to kind of get out there in the, the first quarter and first half. And really, you're preparing your guys to be in a position where they can adjust to anything new uh, that we haven't seen. There's going to be things we can only prepare them for so much. But in week one, there's going to be some things out there uh, that maybe they haven't seen on video this week. And so really, you're putting them in a position and hopefully preparing them where they can monitor and adjust uh, on the fly on the field. And um, you know, the one benefit we have is our defense does a lot of things um, you know, throughout spring ball and fall camp. So we get exposure to a lot of different 
uh, looks on the defensive side of the ball that I really think uh, helps our guys as we get ready for the season. All right. Appreciate everyone's time. All right. Pinboard.